I'm here at Apple's headquarters in Silicon Valley, where the company has just unveiled its brand new iPhones, the iPhone 11 and the iPhone Pro. The iPhone 11 has a two camera array on the back, whereas the iPhone 11 Pro has a three camera array on the back. I have with me the iPhone Pro Max. Just looking at it, you might not notice anything significantly different. But once you turn it around, you'll see it's got this brand new three camera array. And what that means is that the iPhone has a much more powerful camera that you can do a lot more with. So the new iPhones allow you to take much better low light photos. So photos taken indoors or at night or in the evening will be much brighter, much more colorful. And it also means that you can take wide angle photos, uh, meaning if you're standing in the same place and you take the same photo, you'll get a lot more of the picture in, you'll be able to get, get a lot more of the scene in front of you. It also has a feature called slow motion selfies, or in Apple's words, slow fees, which allow you to take a slow motion video which is bound to be very popular on social media. The new iPhones also have a new design. The shell of the iPhone Pro is made of stainless steel. The iPhone 11 is made of aluminium. Inside, they boast uh, much improved battery life. The iPhone Pro has four to five hours more than last year's iPhone XS. And they also have a faster processor, a faster graphics card, which will mean games are a lot faster, the graphics look a lot better, and everything on the iPhone will just work a bit faster and a bit smoother, whatever app you're running. So those are the new iPhones. They come out on September 20th, and there'll be more on The Telegraph in the next few days.